Hey everyone, welcome to my channel BT by Telly. In today's video, I'm gonna do the unboxing of the Ricky Loves Ricky Ricky Tall Mirror. I'm also gonna be sharing the specs and my review of it as a professional makeup artist and as a content creator. So when this package arrives, it's super duper exciting. If you're an avid online shopper, this is gonna be a new high because the package is so big. I think it was about hip level for me. And I purchased it for 15,770 pesos at the last Freya sale. The normal price is 31,540 pesos. Yay for good deals! On the Glamcore website, it is only about 25,000 pesos. But I think with the additional fees of getting it to the Philippines from the US and all of the stress in making sure that it's gonna come straight to my house, I think purchasing it straight from Freya, even at full price, is the better deal. So let's start with the unboxing. When you open it, the accessories are all on top. It also comes with a 3 times magnetic magnification mirror. It attaches magnetically to the face of the mirror and also a magnetic swivel phone clip. So this does not swivel in 360 degrees. It only flips out to hold your phone and then flips back in to be more compact when stored. As you can see, the claws itself are rubberized, so it's not going to scratch or damage your phone even if you don't have any kind of casing. It also has this like claw-like or tooth-like feature to further secure your phone when it's attached to the front of your mirror. You have the power cable which has a 100 to 240 volt AC input and that means that you can use it without any special adapters in any country. The cable itself is about 118 inches, a little under 10 feet or about 3 meters. So this is okay for personal use if you're already going to be near the electrical outlet. But if you're going to use it for professional settings and you can't always set up as close to the electrical socket as possible, you may still need to use an extension cable with this. Okay, so let's start with setting up the mirror. First, just set the acrylic base with the screws on the outside and then set the mirror on top of it and plug it in. On the left side of this protruding control box, you can just plug in your power adapter and then turn it on with the remote control. Simple as that. So when you're first setting it up, you may tighten the screws on the acrylic base using a screwdriver. I'm only tightening it until I start to feel some kind of resistance but I'm not tightening it further because I'm going to be assembling and disassembling this unit quite often. I think if you're just setting it up at home and not moving it around, you can go a little bit tighter. If you fail to do this step, the mirror may wobble around. It gives me a bit of anxiety because it's so tall and it's so heavy and I don't want to damage it. I don't want it to fall on me or anywhere else actually. Okay, so let's go to the mirror. It is 20 inches wide and 28 inches tall. 4 inches off of the length is the white area, the sort of iPad area, which still makes for a great half body mirror. The website says it is 3 8 inches wide but I took a ruler and measured the mirror's width at 0.5 inches plus the control box at 0.75 inches. Still, it is super duper thin and I do not feel like I was cheated even if I do not measure the same as the website does. Actually, it still seems and feels so much thinner than how I expected or imagined it to be. So the control box at the back, it powers up all of the lights in front of the mirror and it also has a USB port on the other side where you can charge your phone. And this is one of my favorite features. Actually, when I bought this mirror, I didn't know it had that feature. I just bought it because of the huge discount. I really love this feature because it's perfect for lives. It can be really hard to sort of find a setup with a power bank or an electrical outlet close to your phone when you're already using so much space for your lighting and your camera. So let's go to the most important part, the light. It has 35 pieces of 0.5 centimeter LED bulbs 
lengthwise, excluding the bottom and top bulbs, which I considered for the crosswise count. So crosswise, it has 28 pieces of 0.5 cm LED bulbs for a total of 126 bulbs. It has five levels of brightness, which you can adjust using the remote. And I suggest that you use the lowest level of light that you're comfortable with to avoid eye strain. And then just go higher and higher if your place is a little bit darker or if you're setting the mirror farther from where you're going to be sitting. These are daylight LEDs. Commercially, that means they have 6,500 kelvins in terms of light temperature. So Kelvin is a scale for the color of light. The lower it is, that means it's more orange or warm. And the higher it is, that means it's more blue or cool. Somewhere in between would be the perfect white. 6500K is actually a little bit too cool for me. My personal favorites hover around 4800 to 5000K lights. And so to have an idea of this, older ring lights actually had only two settings. Orange or warm setting was 3000K normally and the cool or blue setting was normally 5500K. And this light is rated with 90 plus CRI. So this tells us that this lighting source accurately represents colors. The lower figure would probably give you results. Like if you shown a lower CRI light on me right now, I would probably look pale or too tan or a little bit grayish or, or even pinkish. So a higher CRI figure, the maximum of which is 100, would tell you that this light source accurately portrays color. 98 is the highest CRI rating I found while I was researching for this video. With no lux or lumens figure available, we can't really talk about how far or how strong the light is because this information is not given by the manufacturer. So overall, I really like this layout of setting the light source all around the mirror because you cast less shadows that way. So as an extreme example, I'm putting my lights only on the sides of my face. So when you only have light on the sides of your face, the shadows on your forehead, chin, and nose are going to be emphasized. So as a makeup artist, it's going to be hard for me to tell if I'm over applying makeup on certain areas of my face. That's why a balanced light source is ideal for makeup artists. So I really like this mirror, but, and this is a huge but, I've always found something off or weird with the Glamcore lights. This feels really harsh and it hurts my eyes. And it's strange because when your eyes start to hurt, the first thought would be that the light is too strong. But I don't think the light is that strong because I find that it still casts shadows on my face. So I do wonder why I feel that this light is harsh yet shadowy at the same time. So thinking about it a little bit more, looking at the specs, I think that there's something off with the balance of the lighting profile. So that leads to some shadows being cast on the face, but it still hurts my eyes because the color temperature is a little bit high at 6500 Kelvin. And the higher you go on that scale, the bluer the light is. And as we know, blue light can be irritating to the eyes. So that's why I think I find it nakakasila, yet still has some sort of shadowing on the face. I'm not sure. There's, there's just really something I can't explain about Glamcore lights. I also think there's something off with this sort of naked light source where the bulbs are just out there and they're not diffused by anything. So I think that also affects like the experience of why it's hurting my eyes. Maybe if you had more lights but they were diffused, maybe that would work better. I don't know. Um, lighting is not my area of expertise but with what I know, I'm just trying to figure out why this hurts my eyes. So let's go to the review. As a content creator, I love the Bluetooth selfie mode. It's so easy to set up. Just hold the Bluetooth button on the remote for 5 seconds, point it at the sensor which is close to this sort of silver sticker at the base of the mirror and then once your phone recognizes the Riki doll, just pair it up and you can take selfies using the camera button on the remote. So this is a huge benefit for us because I don't really have a nice tripod system for my phone and it can get awkward taking selfies with my hand reaching out like this toward the camera. So with a hands-free remote, at least I'm free to pose. However I please. 
I also love that there are three areas on the mirror where you can place your attachments, meaning you can use both the mirror and the phone clip at the same time. And I think for people who do phone cam vlogging, this is super duper useful because you can sort of check the details on the magnification mirror while shooting yourself on the phone. I think this is gonna be most useful for me when I do my eyeshadow videos. So as soon as I have time, I'm gonna try doing just that. So the magnetic mirror does not pop out at an angle and it also has only three times magnification. I prefer eight to 10 times just so I don't have to lean in so close just to get to the details. Especially considering that you can't tilt the Ricky tall mirror out. So I would prefer it if the mirror could have popped out or at least had more magnification. And really like, I think if you're a content creator, this is one of the best investments you can make because it's gonna make everything so much faster and so much more convenient. I know that for a lot of content creators, a lot of the struggle with the work that you do is sort of setting everything up and preparing everything and putting it in place. So if things are this conveniently laid out for you, I think it will make the rest of your work much faster and much easier. And I would say that this mirror is an amazing content creation assistant. So as a makeup artist, what I like about this mirror is that it's a great size. So with smaller mirrors, I have to bend and stretch my back just to find the talents to face within my line of sight because otherwise what I'd normally be seeing is just their chest. But with the Riki, whether I am bent down a little bit or standing up straight, I don't really have to move that much to find the talents face within my line of sight just because the mirror is so huge. I also like that it can be a two-in-one source of mirror and lighting as a makeup artist carrying around a huge 18-inch ring light and then carrying another huge mirror with that is really a drag because having a lot of bags to carry around along with my makeup kit, along with my telescopic makeup chair, it's just it's too much. Whenever I can condense stuff and make it two-in-one, that's that's ideal and that's what I like about this mirror. So being large is a double-edged sword. I like how easy it is while I'm working, but it can also be inconvenient because it's so big. Like right now, if I wanted to take this mirror out, I would have to bring the whole huge box with me. I had to have a custom bag made for it, but I'm still waiting for it. So if you guys want to see how that looks like, do follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Tally. I'll be posting it on my stories. So final thoughts, I think the Riki is a very good mirror. And I think it is a good light, but it is not perfect. Because for me, lighting is super duper important. I need to see things very accurately and things need to be color true because my work needs to be perfect and needs to look similar whether it's in the dark or in the light. And only a truly white and balanced light can provide that for me. So I love Riki because it is so easy to set up and the layout is so clean and attractive. I also love the charging port at the back and the magnetic accessories. But for me, a big catch is the light. It's not perfect. It sometimes hurts my eyes. I do feel it can be harsh yet shadowy at the same time. So that's a little bit of a downer for me. But still overall, I purchased this product obviously. I love it. And I think for personal use, if you're setting it up in one place, or if you're not going to be working as a professional in super dark places like a cave, I think this mirror is still an excellent lighting and mirror solution. So that was my unboxing. What do you guys think? I'm looking forward to creating more content using this mirror. If you've made it this far, please do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications every time I post a new video. You can also follow me on social media. I'm at PT by Telly everywhere. So that's that for today. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!